Gentlemen, okay, guys, we're back with the YouTube video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Madden 13 and more importantly, Madden NFL 25 Ways to Prepare. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is using motion to, to basically confuse your opponent, not only to confuse your opponent, but to enhance your plays. Now, that's one thing I want to look at today. Now, one thing that uh, I think is very lost upon in the Madden NFL tournament scene or elite scene or whatever and, and things we don't think about is motion and uh, it's very simple but it's, it's something we don't do and uh, that's one thing now we're just going to take a look at the I form and they have the stretch we don't have the stretch in here so let's just take a look at the let's just take a look at single back um, we will take a look see at We'll take a little bunch. So, I mean, bunch, very simple. One thing that I love about a bunch, HP angle, we can go out of that. Now, the run out of a down here, you see it's this halfback sprint. Now, you can run it right or left. One thing I like to do out of the motion, out of runs into this formation, I like to motion my tight end over and snap in the gap here, uh, just to create another blocker for my offense. Now, that's cool. Uh, obviously, it's a great, you know, concept. You know, you get an extra blocker, uh, and then what you can do off of that is you can playmaker. So, you can playmaker to the right, and they think you're running to the right, and you see you get that backside seal out of that tight end. That's what I like to do. I like to snap, snap him in the gap opposite the side of running out of this play. So if we're going to the left here, I'm going to fake hot route it to the right, and then I'm going to motion my tight end over, snap in this gap. Okay, and then you see we can go off and run. So what it's going to be able to do with that is we're going to be able to basically just confuse the user defender based off of the motion, and sometimes, sometimes we'll run it and we'll motion over, and we won't do any hot routing, we'll just run it. You know, and motion all the way over, letting set, confusing them with motion. Other times, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll playmaker to the right here, do some fake hot routes like we're passing, and then motion snap the uh, wide receiver as if we were running a route to him. And the reason that I don't think we put enough time and energy into this is because it takes time out of our main setup, and we don't like to do that. Now, what it does, though, it, it really, it's, it's really a nice concept. Not, it's not concept. It's not even a concept. It's just a, a way to play. It's something we can use to, once again, make it tougher for the defense to identify what we're doing offensively. And uh, I think that's huge. So, like I said, uh, basically what we can do off of that as far as passing goes, though, is we could, you know, maybe take the tight end here. We could put him on a zig route. So something very simple. A zig route. When we motion him over, you see uh, that zig route's going to turn into a zig route to the left. We don't have to re-hot route it, snap, throw it. Uh, obviously, you can get that in there. They have to guard that stuff. And they don't want to guard that stuff. Trust me. Uh, another thing you can do, very simple, put the wide receiver on a fade, and then you can playmaker a little couple times. It's not, you know, you don't have to do that against the, it's not just for the run. Motion snap, and as you see, the fade against zone, pass it to the inside is going to beat it. Uh, obviously, we've got in, in my way there, but you see the, the, the idea. Uh, let, me put the dude on, let me put that dude on a zig to clear space and show you again. Fake motion, fake, fake hot routes here, and then snap. As you see here, passing to the inside, Tannehill just an awful quarterback right now. So, you know, that's what we can do. And then another thing we can do is, you know, once we've established, okay, he's going to be on a slant or he's going to be on a, a, a quick zig, leave him on that drag. You see it's automatically going to change to the right side of the field. We know that beats zone. Having another drag on the field is always something good. Use motion to manipulate your opponent. Guys, this is a countless it, – it's such an important tip. And then, again, you can motion the receiver over, put him in the slot. So now you have, like, a – a tight doubles to one side of the field and something you know do hot routes out of that do route combinations and then you know maybe check down into a run and then run motion back and now it's a game of chess when you use motion it makes the game more like a game of chess so once again if we're running the ball here okay we know we're running the ball the opponent doesn't know that so we just may fake, may fake a couple hot routes here motion in and then motioning back like we're putting him on a fade and then run the ball in behind it and then cut back whatever we want to do and that's that's what I want to uh, you know that's so important to be able to do that uh, you know, be able to motion the running back out and, 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 you know, manipulate here so we come back 
and uh, a couple times we'll just snap right there and you see he's gonna get a little speed burst so you can throw that route so essentially now they're thinking oh well he's just putting him on that to get that speed burst so he's not running the ball when he motions him back in what we can do here is we can fake a hot route to him motioning back and then quickly set the play up and snap you don't cc you don't have any any tell in that very simple stuff you can do guys but it's very effective in the game uh, another thing you can do motion him out on a wheel if, no, if they don't follow out, snap, throw to the wheel route. You see it's going to get out there. A quick five-yard gain. Stuff like this, you know, you know, this is something that I think this is one of the best concepts of the year. And you, it's not, I'm not even breaking down a play. I'm simply breaking down, you know, a, uh, an idea, a way to play the game. And then you can motion him back. And what you can do is, again, you motion him out. Maybe put him on a fade, motion him back in the, into the backfield. You see the fade stays. Snap. And now he's going to the middle of the field, whereas before he was going to the right. Another thing you can do, again, motion him out on a wheel route. Okay, there's no reason you can't do that. So put him on a wheel route here. You see, put him on a wheel route. Motion him out. Let's say they go with him now. Snap right about here. And now he's on the wheel route. And now you see if, if you you know if they if they're not disciplined, if they're not you know honest, and that it, it keeps the defense from overplaying stuff. Uh, and then you can always you could always motion him out on this angle route. What you can do is, is a little snap back motion. And now you see, he just kind of sits in the zone. It's like, almost like a drag spot route. Uh, you know, just different things you can do that we don't think enough about when we're running our money plays or whatever. You know, so something like this motion snap fade, then bring him in two steps, and then snap. And then you see, okay, they're in a flat route. Uh, that fade's going to hold the flat long enough to hit the corner route. Simple stuff, guys. But make sure you're using your motions with the pass as well uh, in order to confuse the defense. They don't know whether it's a pass or a run. You know, there's no tell. You know, obviously, and then a couple times, okay, we see, okay, we're coming to the line, we get a hot in, okay, we're going to snap. No motion. Stuff like this is so crucial to becoming a very good player in a game because it uses every aspect of the game. You know, something as simple as motioning him over and then faking a zig. Okay, you fake a zig, now you have the drag. Boom. It's mind games, and, um, you know, it's something so essential. And then uh, defensively, now, well, now we're going to put the offensive stick down, we're going to pop up the defensive stick here. We just talked a lot of offense. Faking an audible. Okay, we thought we were going to, they think we're going to Michael Cross. We're now in cover three, and, you know, we just, oh, okay, they thought that was open. Now it's not. Mind games. Play mind games with your opponent, you know. Uh, this is more for a live tournament kind of tip, but as far as what I'm thinking of doing in a live tourney. But, again, and then another thing, you know, when we use the shading technique, when we put the dudes outside against uh, man coverage, take away the outside pass lead, you know, maybe give up the inside pass, or maybe, um, you know, one play, say, okay, uh, I'm going to give them inside pass lead streaks. And you know why you can do that? Because you've been taking it away. So now they think, okay, well, maybe we got deep out routes to, the, to that side of the field. So we put, uh, say we put this safety in a, in a, a purple zone here when we, when, we, when we slide him out. And then all we're going to do is maybe put uh, Shepard here on a flat. And, you know, see what we can do with this is, now, if they're running like a uh, something like the spacing stuff, real quick to the flats, because uh, we leave the tight end uncovered in this in this play. But he's on the flat route. Bam, bam, got it. You know, tap. Things like this. You know, uh, different routes, different plays. Uh, you know, run different stuff. Don't just run your your basic principles. You know, obviously, I like to use a lot of change of plays. Something like this, Mike Sam crash. You have four deep in the way I set it up, and then you can use your shepherd into wherever you want, and it's just stuff like this. Give them gives them different looks from your main plays, so they don't have a, con a consistent read as to what you're doing. You know, don't always run coverage defense. Don't always run pressure defense. Don't always run you know uh, zone blitzing defense. Don't always run man blitzing defense. Don't always run uh, you know block shed type of pressure. Change your stuff up, guys. Uh, don't run the same stuff over and over again. And expect the same result. Not gonna happen. So. Once again, you know, just kind of covering uh, very simple, uh, very simple tactics. You know, it's, you know, it's it's very easy to do, but in reality, it becomes very effective when you do them. Okay, uh, you know, one of the things that we do, you know, a lot of people say use the same motion snaps every every, every single time. So they can't identify what you're doing, and what I say is use different motion snaps and use it every play so that they know someone's going in motion, but they don't know what route he can be on. He can be on a drag. He can be on a zig. He can be on a curl using your route tree with your motion snaps. You can pretty much motion, motion snap almost any route this year uh, outside of like a, a stock a stock like angled fade. And so, I mean, that's just something I wanted to touch on today, guys. That's all I got for you. 
Uh, very simple video, very easy to kind of grasp what I'm talking about. Something that you can easily implement into any play, any scheme you're running. I encourage you guys to try this out. Fake hot routing, I mean, what you could do, I mean, you could sit here, you could go like this. So defensively, one thing we look for as far as offense goes is to tell if you're in a coverage D is if your dudes are, are like, if I'm spying a dude, you see, if I'm, like, doing this, you know, all my dudes kind of weird out, and they'll kind of move around like that, and I'll, you know, trying to be quick. So what you can do is, uh, let me let me actually blitz them all down again so we get the same same play here. Let me reset this play. So you see, uh, you have them blitzing. So what you can do is this. Uh, cancel, 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 cancel. Now you have four guys blitzing down. They check down to a run because they think it's coverage D. All of a sudden they're sacked. Boom, dead, gone. Bam. Easy, easy things to grasp, but very effective and will take your game to the next level. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about at the end of this video. Make sure to uh, make sure to comment if you, have, if you have any questions at all. Please put them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask you guys is if you enjoy what I'm talking about in the game, if you enjoy kind of my gameplay videos or in-game breakdowns or strategy, uh, check out my Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I, I sometimes tweet out some stuff uh, that you guys can kind of kind of listen to. Can maybe you know tweet out some some websites or tweet out like some links. So make sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys enjoy that. Uh, another thing that I would like to ask uh, at the end of this video is we have, uh, I think we're, what is today? Let's see, today is the 28th, so we have about, uh, what, three, we have seven, eight days until NCAA 14 officially drops for us, so uh, make sure you're signed up for the uh, ebook. Make sure you sign up for that ebook that we're going to be releasing day one. Uh, you're going to get it the day before the game comes out to go ahead and lab it, go ahead and you know look at it, read it, digest it. Uh, if you are a subscriber, you're going to get it the day before. Everybody else is going to be getting it day one. But if you're a subscriber, you get it the day before the game comes out. Uh, personally written by me, and it's actually going to have a couple of other guys uh, that I know come in, kind of digest the scheme, kind of give you their take on what I'm doing. So obviously you guys, you know, you're going to enjoy that. Hopefully, hopefully you guys subscribe for that. Also, don't just subscribe for that. Subscribe for more NCAA 14 tips and Madden NFL 25 tips. Subscribe for more free uh, guides, free ebooks, free whatever. Uh, if you guys like free stuff, if you guys learn about the game for free, hit up the YouTube channel. We have over, uh, I think we have over 140 videos up right now, and uh, hopefully to have another 140 up before the end of the year. We, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy this. Uh, I enjoy this opportunity to share with you guys, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, real quick before we end the video, one other thing I wanted to touch on is uh, if you guys are into, if you guys if you guys enjoy what I'm doing uh, and you you know you you want to help out the channel in any way you can, you want to get involved, but you you know you may not be you don't have a ton of time or you don't have a ton of uh, you know effort or whatever or you don't have a ton of like free time to put into working with me or whatever, go ahead and donate to the YouTube channel. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to get better equipment to make better videos. Uh, one thing that I, one problem I run into a lot with this YouTube channel is I don't have the financial means to support it all the time. So if you guys would like to donate, there's a link at my YouTube channel. You just go to my homepage. There should be a link in my banner to hit donate to channel. And you can donate however much you want. Five cents, five dollars, anything's uh, acceptable. Uh, you, can be don you can be anonymous, you can be known, whatever. Uh, but any donations are accepted and always appreciated uh, because they help help people learn about the game. They help people. So, once again, thanks for watching.